It's interesting, I've been doing some work in the public schools, so I'm coming across a much wider uh, cross-section of, of children in our culture. And one of the things I'm seeing are children with a, many more children with diagnosis of auditory processing disorders. Have you noticed a change in children over the last 40 years? Yes. I think there are certain definite trends just, just based on my personal observation. But they're not intrinsic fundamentally. They're changes mostly due to environment. I don't think there's any change in the quality of the human beings that are being born necessarily or at all. But we are learning how to, how to do certain things better, how to train for certain things better. But we also have abandoned a lot of values. I've just been reading a book in praise of slowness and uh, it's sort of an ironical view of how we speed through everything and tend to speed is essential now in computers, in every aspect, in travel, in every aspect of our life we're trying to speed up, get more in and inevitably there'll be a loss in that. When I was in Japan I noticed a lot of differences between children there and here too and I think they're due to their teaching and training. I'd sit on a bus with a group of children and they'd, they'd be sitting there, they'd look at something, their eyes would fixate on it for you know, seconds and minutes and minutes, never moving, just absorbing it somehow. And I sit on a bus here and look at kids, their eyes are just going like this all the time. They don't, they, they have no eye-centered, quiet inner focus. And why wouldn't they? They commute all the time, they rush around, their parents hasten them to do things. They don't get nearly as much time to speculate and be quiet. Daydream. And daydream and, and just uh, think about things. And they don't get much time to be in nature that way. Even when they're in nature, they're on a scout troop going trailing, see how fast they can get across the trail to the next objective. And that speeding up of everything seems to be creating a lot of losses. Also, the urbanization of our youth is creating a lot of losses. And when, you, when a child is brought up in an antiseptic urban surrounding, he doesn't have much chance to explore time, timing of things, the textures of things, sensation of things. How many kids in, in an urban surrounding know what it feels like to handle a rope, a shovel, a trowel, uh, a, a brace and bit, a two-man saw? climbing up a tree, or those things are just disappearing. Instead, they are good at pushing buttons. <laughs>